The secrets of the universe could very well lie in this wall. Welcome back, guys, to Llamas Let's Play. And today, before we get into the groove of things, as you can see, I went caving with the fortune and stuff. And right over here are the caving loots. So, I did a strip mine way down below again. Did a little bank bank. Oh, dang it. Ugh. 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 <laughs> anyway, yeah, I went caving down below, and here is the grand total. I've smelted it all over there, and da -da -da -da. that's right, 13 diamonds. Uh, let's see, so that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Six and a half stacks of redstone, and I did fortune that. We got 59 iron, a stack, and about a half of lapis, um, around two stacks of coal, and five gold ingots. So let's just get all of that tastiness into our inventory here. Start crafting that up. So let us actually get out that, 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 and that. We'll just get all of our riches into one place here. Actually, never mind. Well, yeah, never mind. Three, and ha 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 ha. I'm trying to do stuff here, guys. Be patient with me. So that's 32 more of those, along with that. And that will give us a grand total of that, along with that, which will give us a grand total of that, so just so that we're all clear here, we have that, we have that, we have, let's just look at our, our grand total in diamonds, just in raw form, wow, okay, so that's now seven and six diamonds, the lapis, and I still haven't transported the lapis back from the Yggdrasil. I need to do that in today's episode because we're going to be over there anyway. And now let us do some of that and some of that. Beautiful. Almost a stack of that and that. So, very, very nice. Very, very nice. I love caving. And just so you know, guys, um, if I actually do run into a cave ever, I try and film it. I don't like to just cave the day away, but when it's just kind of boring strip mine stuff, I like to, uh, I like to leave that out, so I hope that you will forgive me for that, but yeah, if there's any, ever any excitement, I always try to include you guys in it, so that goes there, yep, and the fortune goes there, cool, and now I need a new pick, which I can easily get, and I think we're about ready to get on with the episode, and I can show you guys what I want to do. What I want to. So yeah, I'll craft this pick, and I will be right back with you guys. Okay guys, so we are back. Right here is the Yggdrasil, and I have just finished farming up some more cows. As you can see, there are babies and stuff in there. Um, I got... I farmed up the wheat at the village, and I got a ton, a ton of seeds and good stuff. I have all the stuff that we will be needing to build this. So, first thing is first, is building the actual structure, which I would kind of... Well, I'll show you guys what I really want. So, I will be having a 4x4 four four little area for them to kind of breed in. So the adults... Oop, that's not right. The adults will go right around here yeah so the adults will be right here and then we want a layer dug out beneath that and we are building cow farm by the way I didn't mention that and you guys are probably really confused okay so then we want to get out of here get out of here and just check that I'm on normal I am because no mobs are spawning, yet it's night time, which might be a little bit, might be a little bit odd. So then I've just borrowed some of these stone bricks from the, uh, 
place place from right over there at the deep storage unit. Keep placing these. Blah, 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 blah. So we want that. So I'll stand up here and breed the cows from up here. So I'll have the wheat and breed them from right here. And uh, probably need like a little bit of a step down thing right here. Actually, no, never mind. <sighs> okay, so take that away. Wait, actually, they're slipping out right there. So, yep, never mind. We do want that. Okay, and around the back here. And bada bing, bada boom. So this is right here. And then we want this to fall out and down. Let me start here. And we want this to go a little bit of a ways down. We want this to outline the entire bottom right here of the stone bricks. So as you can see, following that, following that pattern, remove the rest of that, and there we go. So then we will dig two more down, I think, would be appropriate. Yeah, down to stone level. And once we get this cleared, then we can start with the redstone, which I might just need to run back and get. Might just need... Another episode coming up soon, I think, will be linking up nether portals, because running back and forth like this is... It's really not time efficient, especially when I'm trying to do an episode on a cut line, like I need to get it out by tomorrow, or something. Really not good for that. So, then we take this in one. Alright, and then we put that there. Right, like that. Yeah, I believe so, and then there's a gap right there, because if I do like that, you guys can see right here, there will be a gap right here. So basically, let me explain how this works, because I kind of believe I'm getting too far ahead of myself right here. And then we can... Okay, are we out? So basically, I'm going to breed the cows up here. There will be a few adult cows here. Then, once the babies are born, since there is this little bit of a gap here, they will fall through here fall down here, and this is kind of a, uh, a killing area, so they will be right down here, and then I can come down here with a flint and steel, and there will be a ladder system right over here, probably shouldn't have done that, there will be a ladder system right over here with gates, so I need to open up the gates, it has to be me, and uh, I'll make this look pretty in a second, but for now, just do a nice little spiral staircase here. Yeah, so I'll come down here and light them up with flint and steel and then kind of just do the punchy punches and let them die by fire and stuff like that. And, you know, different ways, different things. But I'll kind of let them accumulate. So um, I also have it set up over there where I have wheat trades. I can do the wheat for emeralds and then the emeralds for pork in the village with all the villagers because we got really lucky when we found that. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of how that's going to work. So really quickly here, I'll uh, let me start bringing out a few cows, because we want, we basically want all the cows in there to come into here. So let me cover this up with trapdoors for now, just so that I know where it is. There we go. Yeah, so then I can cut those out at a later time. Okay. Okay, so let me do this really quick, guys, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, so the initial part is ready. As you can see, we have a four adult cows down there in the breeding area, and they can't get out. Even if I push them, I tested it. But as you can see, if we hop down here... 
There are all the babies, and a few of them have already grown up making love. So, basically the idea is, every time I'm doing work on the Yggdrasil, I can just sort of casually walk by here, breed them every so often, and the little Moo Moos will drop down there. And I'm also, 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 waiting for these Moo Moos in here to grow up, in the actual Yggdrasil. Because, dang it, I'm, I failed that. Because, once these little guys grow up, I can put them in there as well, and that will be... Okay, so there are four already, so another four will be... So for every time we breed, once these little guys are in there, for every time we breed, we will get four new little babies. Hmm. And over the course of a while, that would work. Yeah, over the course of a while, that would work. Also, I don't know if I have shown you guys this, but I have started construction on another floor, and I think this pattern looks pretty nice. I might try something else, I'm not sure. Just thought I would note that. Okay, so now for the next and final-ish step. I need to drop down here, if I can find water. I have Feather Falling 3 boots, actually, so... Oh, should we do it, guys? I really don't want to die. I really don't. <gasps> and we missed it, but that's okay. That's okay. Assassin's Creed. Nice. Nice. Okay. So, next up, as you can see, I have... Oh, and one died on accident. That was... That was sad. It was a sad day for all of my kind. Anyway, next up will be to go down here, and I'm just going to go directly down and have a water bucket here, just in case. I don't expect anything to happen, but you never know. And let's go down to ooh, gravel. Let's get past this gravel, and then we will start digging out, digging out our room, because now I want a large wheat farm. So that, like, we have that little dinghy one, but I want one that gives us about 64 wheat per harvest. And that way it's still in range, like, it's still, it's very easily in range of the Yggdrasil. So we should be fine. We should be fine. Yeah, so, let me dig this out and I'll be right back with you guys. That's it. Easy does it. Easy does it. Come on. Up and two. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Who's a good cow? Who's a good cow? Come on. Come on. Stamp it. Stamp. There we go. Ho ho. Whew. Okay then. Breeding time. Okay, and then this side, oh, oh, oh. very good, very good. Okay guys, so, final progress update, I think we're done, I think. You can never know for sure, but I think that we are done. So, first off, wheat farm. I lit it up, all the wheat is growing, it looks very nice. And once we get the uh, skeleton farm up, we can start just bone mealing it up. Let's eat. In here there are, uh, what, eight cows, so that is four cowlings per yield every 15 minutes. So every hour of the game played, if I consistently keep up with breeding these guys, will yield me uh, four times four. Twenty. 16 little cowlings, and I usually play more than an hour. It might... I'm not sure if my math is right. Never mind. Anyway, if we go down here... Wait, no. Over here. And excuse the sound. You can just see it is... It is Cow City. I redecorated this little bit. Let's put a torch there. Okay, let's see if I can just... uh. 
You know what? Actually, let me make a new entrance entrance into this because that's not gonna work. That is not gonna work. Let us see. Let us let us see. I knows what's to do's. Okay. A few might get out. That'll have to be okay. Um. Never mind. I don't know how to get in here now. Dang it. Don you cows. That's right. Back off. Back off. Okay. Back off. There we are. Place. Placeth yourself. Move. Cows. Oh, there we go. Haha. -ha. Now I can jump up. Suck it, cows. Okay, so just from right here, we have, let's see, we have 26 mobs. That's okay. That's good. And if we just do a mosh pit down here of breeding. Mosh pit. Click the XP. And now let's see. There are less. There are more. Anyway. Odd. Okay, so. Let's get away from that hideous noise. Honestly, jeez. Let's just breed these guys up here quickly. Quickly, quickly. Okay, just make sure everyone's bred. Cool stuff. Cool, cool stuff. And then right over here, our deep storage facilitatum. And let us just throw all that stuff back. We can actually take the coal. That's okay. And everything else I will take with me. Including that, that, let's put that there, that trayer, as well as this. I need these, and I need that, and I shall use that. Okay. Whew. Whew, whew. Well, you know, an experiment's not over until you test it out. So, let us all run back to base, put all this away. By the way, this sheep got out. I don't like you anymore, sheep. Sheep. Actually, I have one iron ingot. I can do it now. I can do it now, Charlie. I can do it now. Take one of these flints. Do some of this up. And now let us fry some pork. Or cow. Yeah. That'll work. And hold him a goalie. Actually, maybe I should wait until they're all grown, because they're not right now. And I would feel sad killing the little babies. Yeah, I would feel bad killing babies. Just not my MO, sorry. Just not what I do. Let's put this. Oh, well, let's just run it all back to base. Yeah, so I'll run all this back to base, and hopefully by the time I'm back. There should be no more babies, and I can fry them to death. Poha. Okay, guys, so I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Also, guys, don't know if I showed you this last time or not, but here is the sugarcane farm. Uh, works pretty well. I just set this up. I had a few sugarcane growing, and then I grew some more. In fact, I'm going to harvest this before I go all the way back to base. You can call me inefficient, but boy oh boy, look at all that sugarcane. So I put the lapis back in its rightful place. I think I will just put uh, just put these right there for now. Um, I'm really running out of space. Hmm. Put that there, that there, and the steakies can go there. And we can smelt up the rest of that. Actually, since we have so much coal, I know, wasteful, wasteful llama, but you know what the heck. 
What the heck? So let's craft this up. Perfecto. And down here, let's actually just kind of craft it all up. If you know what I'm saying. If you know what I'm saying. So we can put all that right there. Boom. Paper. Four days. Four days. All the paper. And I'll keep this flint and steel on me. Get some more steak to put there. Let us get three more iron. And let us find a stick. Let us find a stick. No stick. Use some of our new fancy schmancy dark oak. Bamba doomba. Bamba doomba. Put some of that back there and recategorize. Recategorize. In fact, that can go there too. I already had a hoe, that's okay. We will repair them to get a brand new hoe. There we go. Okay, and then the last three of those. No, don't do that. There. It's almost 50 steak in cold storage. In fact, let's get the rest of that pork out of there. Very cool. Oh, do I? No. Okay. Okay, bro. Huh. Okay, so let's run back and see if any of the moo moos have grown. And if not, I'm just gonna goof off until they have, and we will seal what our magnificent yield has become. And, uh, if you guys can think of a more efficient way to kill the cows besides burning them and then using my sword, please tell me, because, uh, I know that that's probably not the most efficient way. One way that I know of is to make an instant damage potion, throw it at the cows and switch to my looting sword, uh, that this is just my sharpness too that I still have, but I have looting in the chest back at home. The super sword had that on it. So I think that's what we're gonna be doing with that. I'm not sure what to do with my next level 30 enchantment. I know that I need to start enchanting a lot, because once 1.8 comes... 1.8 has this thing where it requires like a lapis and... It's harder to get to level 30 and all this junk. They like totally nerfed the enchanting, in my opinion. But uh, I'll be needing to enchant a lot, so frequent trips to the blaze farm. Yes, sheepy, frequent trips to the blaze farm. So, let us see. And there are still a ton of babies. Why are there so many babies? Oh well. Here, just a second. Uh, let's just, you know what, let's, let's just. Actually, I don't know. Hmm. Should I kill them now? Yeah, I think I should. Actually, no, never mind. I'll wait till another day. I'll revisit this place often and refeed them and everything, but I think that I won't kill them all. Right now, I'm sorry for all of you violence lovers out there who are just like, Llama, come on, just just pull the trigger, kill the cow. It, it, it'll be all good, you know? It'll be all good, friend. Anyway, guys. Okay, so I think that that'll wrap up the episode. Cow farm, wheat farm, all that stuff finished. We now have a very good, reliable food source. Very happy about that. By the way, I blended these two sheep. I... Made it that one and that one, and got that one, which is cool. I didn't know that they mixed colors when they bred. That was a nice surprise for me. And that's a surprise for me. Yeah, so now my house is clear of cows except for Cow McDerp here, who I think will be a long-time resident. <sighs> Until Melvin comes along. You know, maybe that's it. <gasps> Guys, look at this ocean. We actually have a lot of ocean around us. There's water. There's that chicken cave with another cow. Yeah, but look at this ocean. This ocean's freaking huge. I bet we could find a mushroom island. 
I bet. That's what we're gonna do next time. I'm going to go on a quest, an epic quest, for Melvin. Which reminds me, I still need to get that Do Not Fall Off or Else Super Duper pack where I can continue that series looking for Melvin's Bride. Anyway, uh, I think that's gonna do it for today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to smack that like button. It really helps out a lot. And, uh, yeah, I hope to see you all next time. Hope you're all doing well. And, peace out. Lama 90.